If you want to improve your impact, you got to improve your downswing, and that's what we're talking about today. I'm PGA Teaching Professional Todd Cope, Director of Instruction for US Golf TV and the Sanford Power Golf Academy. And hey, we know, yes, impact is a key time of the golf swing, but it's a moment in time. And the impact position that you create is a byproduct of a good downswing. And today I'm gonna to share with you some great insights, some tips, some drills, some common mistakes that can help you improve your downswing so you can start hitting some quality golf shots. And if you haven't already, hey, be sure to join our family here at US Golf TV. If you love golf and you love working on your game, this is the place for you. We have thousands and thousands of people who are watching this channel and we love hearing from you because some of my best ideas on what we should talk about and work on are coming from you. So do me a favor, leave a comment, tell a friend about US Golf TV because we want to help everybody out there enjoy this wonderful game a little bit more. So let's dive right into this. When we're talking about downswing, I first of all I'm going to define downswing. Then we're gonna dive into some real details and some drills that you can do to help you start improving. So first of all, when I'm talking about downswing, I'm talking about the position when the arms and the hands and the club start to move down towards the golf ball and towards the target. So that's how we're defining downswing. We're gonna talk about the moment of time when the hands have started down, the club has started down, until that moment of impact and some of the things that we should be looking for. So first of all, I want to show you where it should be and then I'm going to show you some common mistakes and some drills to kind of fix that. So anytime I'm working on my downswing with my students or myself, I love to use my live view because it's another set of eyes for me. That's really what it is. It's a set of eyes for me so I can set up right here. All right, I've got a red line which you'll see on here and I got a blue line. I've got my live view right down the line there. So when I'm talking about downswing, I want to see the club, the hands, and my lead arm, left arm, work in between what I'm going to call this corridor of success. That's the red line and the blue line. That's my area of success. Anywhere that my arms and my hands travel in that area, for the most part, you're going to hit some real quality golf shots. Now, where is that corridor of success? designed or what are we looking for? Well, as you can see right here, basically worked off the shaft angle. The red line is along the shaft angle and goes through my hip. And then the blue line goes kind of right up through the neck area. So that's kind of my space. If I get the club, my arms, my hands traveling in that area, I'm going to hit some pretty quality golf shots. Now typically what we'll see for high handicap golfers, especially if you're slicing the golf ball, is we'll see a downswing. Maybe the backswing's pretty good, but the downswing works out towards the blue line. So the hands work out. The club shaft, what we call steepens. This would be steep. This would be shallow. Steepens, okay. And then everything works down and to the left if you're a right-handed golfer. So that's kind of the area that we're looking for. And that's what we want to see. So recap that. We're going to dive into some specifics on how we can get there. So red line along the shaft. Blue line right through the neck. Anything, arm, lead arm, hands, club, working in that space is going to be where I want to get. That's one of the things I love about live is I can literally just rehearse that there. So let's talk about specifics. What should we be looking for when we're doing that? Well, I want to first of all talk about lower body. Okay, we'll talk about lower body in the setup and also kind of in this transition because that's where a lot of, I think, problems come from. So when you're set in, first of all, I want you to, if you want a good downswing, I want you to start with a little bit of lead hip forward. If you've watched any of my videos before, you know that I like that lead hip forward a little bit. Now the reason I like that is because I think a good downswing starts also from good transition and good tempo. So when you're a little bit left, lead side, okay, then you push off that, see a little bit of push, so I'm left side, I push off that, that gets me a little bit of rhythm and a little bit of flow to my swing. When golfers struggle in their downswing, one of the first places I look is what is their rhythm and their timing like? If their rhythm and timing is bad, it could actually be because of their initial setup. If you start on your right side, your trail side, right-handed golfer, okay, and then you just swing it up, it doesn't have the flow and the rhythm. I like to use the phrase unweighting. So we start left, we push right, okay, and we take it to the top. I'll go ahead and hit one here for you. It's left, push and go ahead and swing it. So that would be the first thing you're going to look for. The second place I want you to look for if you're slicing it, remember if you're slicing, you're probably going out towards that blue line, okay, could be upper body. Now in the setup, 
I want that upper body tilted a little bit back. See, got my upper body, tilted it just a little bit back this way. Okay, that angle, when my upper body goes back this way, you can even see it from down the line there in the live view, when my upper body goes back this way, see where my arms and hands track? Now if I take my upper body and I go this way, see where my arms want to go? I'm going to go out and across. So second tip in the setup if you want to improve your downswing is you've got to get it, your upper body tilted back just a little bit. And I'm going to give you a little drill here at the end to kind of actually help you feel that. So that's pressure, weight, lead foot, lower body, upper body tilted a little bit. Now I want to also talk about club face because here's what I found over 25 years of teaching. Lots of times when the downswing is bad, out, across, it's because the club face, the orientation of the club face is off. So typically, if golfers get the club, I'll get set up here, really open, okay, you can see right there, notice how open that, this would be open, this would be square, and we've done some great videos on takeaway. If you want to work on specifically your takeaway, we've checked those out on our channel, but if the club face gets open, when we start coming down, if the club face is open, the ball is going to work to the right. So what happens lots of times is the downswing becomes a fix. They're trying to fix the club face. So if your club face is way open and you swing out and across, the ball is going to go to the right. So instinctively, hey, we're pretty smart people. We start thinking, well, geez, the ball is going to the right, so I'm going to actually start swinging more to the left to somehow try to get it online. So the third thing you want to look for is if you don't like your downswing, is in the club face. So when you take it away, what I want you to see right there is notice that club face, that's square. That position right there, okay? Open. This would be square. And like I said, I'm not, this video is not just about takeaway, so we've got a great video out there, check it out on our channel about what you should be looking for in your takeaway. So those are three things that could initially be getting your downswing out of position that has to do with the setup. Get a little bit of lead weight forward so you can unweight, get the upper body tilted a little bit, and then get the orientation of the club face so it's nice and square. So let's talk about the transition. Let's say, hey, my backswing's in a pretty good spot. I like the positions and the things that we've talked about, but still my downswing is out. So this transition, and that's what I like to call the moment of truth. When that club, when the body moves from back to forward, that's where the magic happens. So typically, as you already know, we've just talked about it, high handicappers, Transition goes out and quick, great players, it drops a little bit to the inside. So I'm going to go back to these same couple checkpoints. I'm going to go back to lower body, upper body, club face that you can look for and work on. So I love to start with the lower body. Now, one of my favorite drills is to take an alignment rod. Now I'm inside today, so I've got it kind of put in the, in the little hole here in the mat, but if you're out on the driving range, you can just take it and stick it into the ground. What you're going to do is you're going to actually go ahead and move right up next to it. So as you're set in there, notice how I've got this off my lead hip, okay? So when you're outside, you just stick it in the ground, it'll be a little bit more straight up and down. But what I want you to feel is in the transition is you're gonna bump into that. Notice that move right there, okay? Because when my lower body bumps towards the target, okay, drifting back towards the target, that drops the club to the inside. So you can even see it in the live view there, and I know my angles little different because I had to move because of the mat here. So when I bump, notice where those hands naturally fall? Everything kind of falls the inside. So if your lower body is doing this, good backswing, and it's working back and away from it, see the gap of the space? This way, then the club and the arms are going to swing out. So lower body, bump that hip just a little bit. And one of the ways I'll have to practice that is just that. Boom, little bump there, I'll do a couple of those, and then I'll go ahead and hit a shot. So that'd be the first place that I'd look when that. And I'm going to give you another drill here at the end that involves hitting a golf ball that can help you with that. Now the next thing could be the upper body. All right, we talked about that a little bit in the setup. We've kind of probably got an idea of where we're going with this, so I'll be back in here. Got my live view there. Now my upper body, if my upper body goes out and forward, that can cause me to also come out and across the golf ball and hit that slice. What you want to feel is you want to feel like your head is staying back. And notice my upper body, see it's almost tilting back. So I'll go ahead and re rehearse that. I'll take it up. I feel like my head is almost turning back. One of the greatest golfers of all time, you know who he is, greatest golfers, their head was like that. 
Okay, so that's a great drill for you to feel if your downswing is coming out and over. When you come back down, feel like your head almost rotates back a little bit. And see what that does to my upper body? Tilts it back. And as you've already learned, when the upper body is tilted back, that allows you to swing from the inside. So that's lower body, that's upper body. You know where we're going next, okay? We're going club face, right? So in that transition, in that transition, and the beauty of this is, is I'm gonna give you three drills at the end here that are gonna kinda tie all this together. Because I know this is a lot of information, but I want you to understand what we're trying to accomplish here. If you don't understand where you're going, it's gonna be hard to actually do it. So, club face, orientation. So when we start swinging down, you're going to actually feel that club face rotate back down. So that's why I love the live view, because I can just, I can look at my mobile device down here, and I can see there's where I want that club face. If I'm a high handicapper, the club face is probably rotating this way or open. Matter of fact, I did a, I did a video tip uh, not too long ago on our channel about this great drill with the T in the glove and how to work on that orientation of the club face is super good. If you're struggling with the club face, be sure to check that out. So that's a little bit on setup, a little bit on that transition in terms of that downswing. So let's talk about this position now, the moment of impact, because that's, I know, what a lot of people think is important. So I'm gonna show you where you wanna get to, then we're gonna talk about the drill. So where we wanna be at the moment of impact, if we have a good downswing, Remember, that's the key. You want good impact? You gotta have good downswing. So is that impact, we know we want that lead hip forward. Okay, so we'll get set in here, and I just want, that's where I wanna be. Notice my weight is forward, my lead hip is forward a little bit. Okay, and I can go back to this drill that I have with the alignment rod, right? I'm set up here, and I can just lean into it a little bit and get that feel of what I'm looking for. And that'll help me swing that club from the inside, it's also a great way to practice the upper body because when your lower body bumps, your upper body naturally tilts back, okay? And you know, of course, that the club face should be pretty square to the target. So those are some of the things that we're looking for. Let's talk about some of the drills because we know this. The downswing is the key to getting in a good impact position. And if I'm in a good impact position, I'm gonna get good results. And these are some of the things that we're looking for. So let's talk about a couple drills. Now, my first drill I wanna share with you is what I like to call the swing step drill. Okay, swing step. So here's what it looks like. This is great to help you with that downswing transition. So you take your regular setup, and then what you're gonna do is take your lead foot and bring it back towards your trail foot, and you're gonna put the club in front of you. Okay, so let's go through it again. Set up, lead foot back, arms and club in front, and I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna swing the club back, my arms and the club back, and I'm going to step forward. So I'm going to swing and step. So let's go through it again, and then I'll hit it with a ball. Regular setup, lead foot back, club in front, swing, step. Boom, now I'm gonna go ahead and actually hit one. You can hit balls like that. Typically I'll do this drill with like a, like a seven iron. It's usually where I start with most of my students. So regular setup, Back in front, here we go. All right, pretty good. Little thin, but you get the idea. So that will really help you with that transition in that. Now, the next drill I wanna share with you has to do with tempo and rhythm. Remember how we talked about having a little bit of pressure on your lead foot and kind of unweighting? This is a drill I like to call right, left, right, left. And so this is a great drill to help you with your rhythm. And, and one of the reasons we get the downswing in a bad spot is because we have bad tempo. So you already know from our conversation that we're gonna start with a little bit of pressure on the lead foot. So we're gonna say to ourselves, right. And when I say right, I'm gonna move the club and my weight to my right foot. And then when I say left, I'm gonna move my weight and the club to the, to the left foot. So it's right, left, right, left, right, left. And what you can see, there's a beauty of live view. I can just sit right here when I'm doing that. I go right and then I go left. I can see that club, right, left, right, left. I can see that club swinging right in that corridor of success right there every single time. Now, if, you, if you've really struggled with your tempo, add this to that drill. When you say right, take your lead foot and lift it up a little bit. Lead, take the lead heel and lift it, see that? So it's right, lead heel's off, left, right, left, and that will really help you drop that club to the inside and get that downswing where you wanna be. Now, those are the first two. The last one here is what I call the baseball drill. 
This is, for the, this is like the extreme version of slicing. If slice is just a shot that has been killing you for years, this is the drill for you. I call it the baseball drill. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your setup, you're gonna take your lead foot and move it forward. Okay, trail foot back. And I'm gonna aim my feet, okay, towards right field. Right, that's where we get the baseball. Right field. Club face towards center field. Okay, so let's set up. Feet, right field, club face, center field. Now what you're gonna do is you're just gonna go ahead and feel like you kind of bump your hip a little bit and just hold it there and swing the arms. Okay, notice that finish right here. See my spine, see my upper body? Tilt to back, isn't it? And look at that in the live view. See where my hands are? Perfect position. So if you're slicing it, and you've sliced a golf ball your whole life, matter of fact, I've got a couple students, older gentlemen, who sliced their whole life, and we built this into their setup. We did this drill, and they hit it so good, they said, Todd, I just started playing golf like that because I hit the ball so much further, okay, more solid. So your setup, feet towards right field, club face towards center field. Bump the hip, hold the hip. Okay, notice the upper body back. Hands work right from the inside into that corridor of success. So that would be the third drill that I would give you. So when we're talking about downswing, we want to have a good impact position. We got to have a good downswing. Here's what you got to remember. You got to have a corridor of success. Anywhere in this spot is going to be good. All right? I've got the red line right there, right along my shaft angle. I've got the blue line along my neck. If I can get my club, my hands, my arm traveling in that space right there, I'm going to hit some quality golf shots. If you want to do that, do the couple things that we talked about here, and you'll notice your downswing improves, and then therefore your impact will improve, and best of all, you'll start hitting more quality golf shots.